everyone! So maybe you guys have seen my planner doodles video, maybe not. But the point is, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw a beaver doodle because that one was requested quite a bit. And actually you could probably turn this into a squirrel too and I'll show you how to do that as well. For this doodle, you'll need a pencil. I usually use a Bic Mini mechanical pencil and you'll need a good eraser which this one on here is pretty good. I also like to have a black gel pen. First draw an oval for the head. This reminds me of drawing Hey Arnold except he has a football head. For the body you're going to draw an oval again but you don't want to draw the entire thing because then it will overlap the head so just draw it coming out from the head like this and I'm going the total opposite way of the camera, hold on. Then you can put the ears at the top, rounded, half circle-y things. Put a little curved line on the inside of each ear. Three little spiked triangles for the little hair at the top of the head. Then for the hands, let me get closer in now. They kind of look like brackets or commas next to each other. And then you put three little fingers on those. For the feet, they are half circles, one foot on each side of course. Then a beaver's tail is thin at the base and it comes out to be a really thick rounded shape. So I kind of think of a tennis racket when I think of a beaver's tail. And then you can put the lines in to make it look textured kind of like a checkerboard and it doesn't have to be perfect it gives more character to the drawing that way finally move back up to the face put in some eyebrows put in the eyeballs which are just two circles or ovals next to each other yeah that eyebrow kind of doesn't work hold on um, I kind of want it to curve over the eyes like that okay Put in the little white circle or the highlight of the eye and a little triangle for the nose. Two curved lines coming out of that for the mouth with a curved line on each side for the smile marks. Three little dots on each side of the nose for the little whisker area or just to look like freckles if you want. Draw a little half rectangle for the teeth and put a line down the middle. Before I get to the coloring, I want to show you how simple it is to make a beaver into a squirrel. So pretty much, this is the exact same thing that I did for the beaver, except I made the ears pointed at the top. Also, I moved the eyes apart. That doesn't really matter. You can draw how, whatever kind of eyes you want on either of them. And then I added a little bit of fluff for the stomach. And the only difference, pretty much, with the squirrel is the tail that you're going to draw. So, squirrels have big, bushy tails. And you can just start up at the top like this, and bring it to a point, and go all the way down to the bottom like that and you have a bushy tail for your squirrel. I'm going to add a bunch of lines to it like that. Alright, now I'll show you how I color in the beaver and actually it is really really simple. I'm using Crayola Super Tip markers but you can use crayon colored pencil or whatever you want. I'm using this tan colored marker here and I'm just going to color in pretty much all of its body. Just don't color in the eyes, nose, or tail with this color, but do everything else. And sometimes I go over the outlines with the color marker I'm using just to emphasize the lines and give it a little bit more depth. Moving on to the ears, face, go around like that. Now I'm going to take a dark brown color and outline the tail. I'm going to go over all of the lines on the tail because then you'll be able to see them when you color it in. I'm going to use this brown to color in the tail so you can actually see the lines more. The final step is to color in the eyes 
emphasize the eyebrows if you want and color in the nose. So I'm going to do that with my black gel pen. Remember not to color in the little white highlights on the eyes. That will give your doodle more character, more animation, make it look more alive. And there you have a really cute and simple beaver doodle. Here's the squirrel all colored in and I just added a little bit of grass for it to stand on and a couple of acorns. Here is another type of squirrel you can draw and it's super easy. I'll just show you really quickly how to do it. Yeah, I'm just going to draw with the pen. Hopefully it works out. But you're just going to draw a circle. And this is the squirrel's body, believe it or not. Then this is a little stomach, just like a little cloud shape. The eyes are two little circles with a white spot in each. A triangle for the nose and a little curved line for the smile. Two triangles at the top for the ears with two tiny triangles inside, two little half circles for the hands, two half circles for the feet, and a puffy tail just by drawing crazy curvy lines. Well, crazy zigzaggy lines, I mean. And there you have this kind of squirrel. Finally, I'll show you really quickly just how to do this squirrel. Just to give you guys some variety and a choice of what you want to make. For the face, you're going to start off in a half circle, but you're going to add two curves to the bottom, like that. Bring this line up a little to form the nose, which is a little rounded triangle. You're going to do two big circles for the eyes. Put a big circle inside of that for the black part of the eye. You can actually add two white dots for the highlight. You're going to do a half circle down here and another tiny half circle here to form the mouth. Do two triangles for the ears with two triangles inside. Then for the body, bring a curve for the hand. Um, actually, I'm going to turn this one's body around just a little bit. And we're going to add both of the hands instead of it like flipping off to the side. Bring this down for the stomach. Draw a shape on each side that looks like this for the feet. Put a little stomach fluff inside. For this tail, make it like that I guess. There you have it. Here's two other types of squirrels. This squirrel and the original beaver. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what other things you'd be interested in learning how to draw. Just keep in mind I get a ton of requests so I can't get to all of them. I wish I could but anyway check out all of my links in the down bar. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and you guys have a great day. I will see you soon. Bye.